it's time. We're live. Good to be with you. And uh, today we're talking about the new option generator session B. There are a couple of things about this I would really love you to understand and know. As a result of listening to the new option, option generator session A, essentially what you've done is you've pulled the stop signs out of your comfort zone. Now you have the ability to explore possibilities and resources within you that have up until now been walled off. Now it's been said by Emerson that you couldn't have a goal unless you already had within you the capacity to be able to achieve that goal. <clears throat> and yet very often when we're conflicted inside of ourselves, we don't necessarily believe that. In fact, it feels like we're not very confident. But I would like to reframe this idea of confidence for just a moment. You see, the nervous system is designed to protect you. So if you've experienced any kind of traumas or failures, mistakes in the past, then what the brain has a tendency to do is bring those up for review whenever you're at the threshold of doing something new. When you're at the threshold of achieving a goal that's important to you, your brain is designed by its nature to check out whether or not this is something that you should be doing. Now, that's a wonderful protection mechanism. The challenge is that oftentimes that protection comes at the cost, at a cost, because essentially when it's stopping you at the threshold of what's possible, it's saying to you, don't cross this line. However, we misinterpret that. We think it's saying, go back home, don't go here. What it's really saying is don't cross this line unless you're all in, unless you're resolved inside of you to say, yes, this is my next step. This is what I'm choosing to do. This is the goal that's important for you. And if you think about the vestibular system as always trying to maintain this dynamic equilibrium, a sense of equanimity, a feeling of peace and groundedness within. And all of a sudden, the little boat that you're in starts rocking quite violently because you're choosing to do something new. Everything inside of you says, whoa, stop. Now, have you ever been in a very tall building and walked up to the window and looked down from up there or been in a high space and there was a railing and you looked over the railing into some deep gorge and immediately there's this feeling within you and you kind of fall backwards. Do you ever wonder what that is? Most people interpret that as a fear of heights. And so what they say is, I'm afraid of heights. Mm, not really. Essentially, what's happening is the vestibular system is always trying to keep you upright. And when you look over the edge of something, that plane here now <clears throat> it wants to have you straight on that plane. You see, it wants to keep you this way. So when, it, when you're suddenly looking over and the plane's going down like that, your brain makes it feel like you want to pitch forward in order to ground yourself on that new plane. And so what happens is people feel as if they're going to jump and they say, I've got a fear of heights because it feels like I'm going to fall off. It feels like I'm going to jump off the edge. And so it's a misinterpretation of a natural signal. And it's very important for us to be able to discern what's real and not what we can do something about and what we can't do something about. And if 
we have a vivid image and we have a vivid feeling, the mistake that we made is we put a vivid meaning on it, which is wrong. So what if every fear, every phobia you had was just a protection mechanism? And what you have to do is you have to be able to discern what's a real and present danger and what's not. So in session A, is what we're doing is we're saying, yes, of course, the present negatives also have positives. Yes, of course, the future positive that I want could potentially have negatives. Of course, that makes sense. That's the way it's always been. Of course, that's the way it's always going to be. But that's no reason to stop from moving forward. Bring the good things with me to maintain the present positives and also step boldly forward to attain what I haven't attained up until now. That's how all progress is made. We become unreasonable to say, I could have something that I haven't had up until now. Makes sense so far? So when I say establish a well-formed goal, it's got to be stated in positive terms. It's got to be within your control to achieve it, right? This is this kind of information you will find on various paraliminals. When you establish a goal, it's got to be stated in positive terms. It's got to be within your control to achieve it. It's got to be measurable and testable. It also has to preserve the present positives that you're now enjoying. This or something even better, right? And it's got to be worthwhile. In other words, I've talked about this in the previous session, and I just want to emphasize it because it's also at the beginning of this paraliminal. It's worthwhile. This is worth investing your energy in to achieve what it is you truly desire for your life. Now, what's cool about this particular protocol to get you where you want to go is it does something quite interesting, not only with your representation of time, but also with the recognition that within you is everything that you need to accomplish what you want. And so what we do is we imagine a future situation in which we have actually already achieved what it is that we desire. And then we imagine all of the genetic necessities to be able to do that are within you. And that that genetic message that generational energy that would allow it to take place came from your mother and father and then from their mother and fathers. So the paternal and the maternal mother and father also had all that genetic potential. And so they passed it along to you so that when you were born, you have everything that you need to be able to realize your life's purpose. An interesting way of conceptualizing life as we know it is that there is an evolutionary impulse that created this universe. And that evolutionary impulse created this galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy, and it gave rise to our solar system in this outer spiraling arm of the Milky Way galaxy, which gave rise to this earth, which gave rise to life on that earth, which gave rise to Homo sapiens sapiens, which gave rise to you. So the evolutionary impulse that has brought about your existence has a purpose, it has a plan, and your job is to contribute your role in evolution, to live into your purpose, to live big, to be able to not be stopped by the fears that might have limited you in the past, 
but to step boldly forward into the fullest expression of who you are, to have your contribution to this evolutionary impulse. Now, it's also interesting in that context to realize that every child born is actually evolutionarily more advanced than you are. This is why the concept of uh, the child is father to the man, or, you know, or listen to what they have to say because they're bringing a ma- more mature perspective of the universe to us to help us inform us along our path as well. So when we realize this generational energy, this evolutionary impulse, and to realize that the goal that you've conceptualized that immediately puts you into oscillation, benefits, detriments, you know, should I, shouldn't I, I, part of me wants to, part of me doesn't. The resolve of that is to recognize that you are fully resourced. This is yours to do. It wouldn't have come to you unless this was yours to do. So have confidence in that and also realize that you can have confidence in taking new paths that you have not taken up until now. When the stop sign has has stopped you in the past, you haven't been able to explore those new paths, pop that stop sign out and start exploring. Now, not every single thing that you explore is going to resolve the issues that you face. But as you adapt and feed forward new information, you get immediately feedback that lets you know, did I move things forward or did I not? Do more of what's working. And in any instance where you get a result that didn't work, do something else. Learn from your experience and do something else. So this feed forward feedback loop moves us from our present state to our desired outcome on the trajectory to that ideal future that we're choosing to create. This is what I call dynamic steering. We're dynamically steering our lives. So don't be waylaid by false meanings, faulty conclusions, misinterpretations, fears of the past, things that have stopped you up until now. Don't proclaim your inability to do something in the past as who you are. Realize that's not a fixed attribute. You have to have an open mind, an open heart, and an open will. If your will's not in it, why would you take a step? If your heart's not in it, how would you ever achieve it? If your mind, if your belief system isn't containing isn't holding the possibility of your achievement, why would you ever think that you could do something? You, it wouldn't make sense to. And so our immune system, our immunity to change has to have a congruent alignment, not only a well-formed goal, but an open mind, open heart, and an open will fully resource to be on this journey to realize the bold and audacious goals that you set. And I do think that a high, hard goal is a profound motivator, tremendous energy, and to have a massively transformative purpose in your life, also critical to be able to get us where we want to go. So if this makes sense to you that we are looking in this new option generator to set ourselves on a new path, a new trajectory to where we wanna go, Boom, you got it. And, you know, the combination of this with get around to it is a very powerful combo for the new actions that will help you accomplish the goals that are important. Well, that's it for today. 
Looking forward to our next session. Thanks so much for being a part of this. Peace and blessings.